subscribe to my channel click on bell icon to get notification about new video 4.5 seeing eyes helping hands a a letter of thanks home for the aged east street girgaon 4 10th january 2018 2 the principal new vision high school off main street girgaon 1 dear ms ambikar it was the first time that school children had come to help at a home for the aged on 5th january and i'm glad to inform you that their visit was a great success the children carried out all the tasks we had planned for them they did them willingly and obediently and of course our residents enjoyed the storytelling sessions quite as much as the students did session is a formal meeting in fact we were wondering whether we could have a few of your students visiting us every month you can imagine how much our residents enjoyed having young visitors it brightened up the whole week for them and i must admit that the helping hands really lightened some of our work brightened means filled someone with happiness admit means accept lightened means made less difficult with warm regards yours sincerely kiran somalwar secretary home for the aged in the principal's office principal yes mr bendri you wanted to see me about something mr bendri yes madam i've come to say how much we appreciate the good work that the school is doing under sehh appreciate means to recognize or understand that something is valuable or important principal oh thank you our teachers were keen on the program because they were sure that it would help the children mr bendri and i can tell you that it has really made a difference my son and his cousin both study in the school i have been following their activities throughout the year i'm really impressed with the changes in their thinking and even their behavior impressed means felt admiration or respect principal i'm glad you feel that way mr bendri i think the parents will all thank you for paying attention to this aspect of personality development i want to congratulate you specially at the next parent teacher association meeting aspect one part of situation principal thank you so much b giving thanks personally english workshop one study the following format of an informal letter carefully using the format a write an informal letter to your friend who has gone to another town for a month b write a personal letter of thanks to an elder person place date main body or text of the letter sender's name as known to the receiver my dear or dear with warm regards yours ps postscript extra matter added after writing the letter this part is optional answer an informal letter is as follows a to your friend who has gone to another town for a month 15 villa prakash girgaon mumbai 400004 15th november 2017 my dear kiran it's been only 3 days since you've gone and i'm already missing you one month without you is going to be terribly boring i do go out with the others to play but it's not the same how are you doing there you must be enjoying yourself with all your cousins kolhapur is a nice place and there are many things to see there your aunt must be preparing the best of dishes for you do write to me as soon as you get the time i'd really enjoy reading a letter from you meanwhile enjoy yourself your loving friend xyz
B. A personal letter of thanks to an elder person. Answer. 15 Villa Prakash, Girgaon, Mumbai, 400-004. 15th November, 2017. Dear Uncle Sathe, I wish to thank you for helping us out when Mummy was not well. You happened to pass by when Mummy took ill and I was alone with her. I really did not know what to do. You saw me and asked me what was wrong. Then you took over and arranged for an ambulance to take her to hospital. Not only that, you stayed all night until the doctor said she was out of danger. You also telephoned my father to tell him what had happened. How can I ever thank you for your great kindness? Not everyone is so generous of heart. We shall never forget you as long as we live. And you will always be in our prayers. Do visit us whenever you can. Yours gratefully, XYZ. 2. Form a group of 4 to 6. As a group activity, write a conversation in which a person or group of persons thanks someone. Answer. A conversation in which a person or group of persons thanks someone is as follows. Mohan. Hello, Ankush. As you can see, I'm fit and fine today. Ankush. Yes, I'm glad to see that. Girish. If it were not for you, Ankush, our picnic to the riverside might have ended in tragedy. Mohan, yes, I might have died. I owe my life to you, Ankush. Ankush, oh, it was nothing. It's just that I can swim well. Sheila, yes, but everyone is not so brave as you. If you had not dived into the water when Mohan was drowning and pulled him out by the hair, I don't know what would have happened. Ankush? Well, there was no one else around. I had to do it. Waman? You're being very modest. All of us wish to thank you, Ankush. You were not only a true friend, but also a life saver. Mohan? Yes, Ankush. I will never forget what you have done for me all the days of my life.